You don't get to violate people's First Amendment rights, Smith, no matter who the hell you are or no matter how sick you are with Trump derangement syndrome. <laughs> and that is Rudy Giuliani freaking out over Donald Trump's 2020 election criminal charges and yelling at special counsel Jack Smith. And this isn't the first time you've acted like an unethical lawyer. It should be the last. Well, most lawyers say Giuliani has no idea what he's talking about. Giuliani, Donald Trump, and a few primetime hosts on Fox News keep blasting the indictment as an attack on Donald Trump's free speech. But the channel's own legal analyst on Fox & Friends says Trump clearly crossed the line. He has the First Amendment right to say the election was stolen. He can say that all over the country. He can say it all over TV. He has a right to file lawsuit after lawsuit claiming that the election was stolen, try to stop the certification. However, where he got in trouble is when they assembled these electors in the various states after Joe Biden had been declared the winner by the secretaries of state or by the governors, had them sign a certification saying we are the duly elected and duly certified electors. That's where he's going to argue there was no good faith basis. That's where he's going to say the fraud took place. By he, Felix is referring to special counsel Jack Smith will say that action, that conduct is where the fraud took place. House Democrat Jamie Raskin of Maryland served on the January 6th special committee and Raskin also pummeled the Trump Giuliani GOP defense. We know that our friends across the aisle are trying to mobilize some big free speech defense of Donald Trump here, which is just uh, comical because, of course, you have a right to say, for example, oh, I think that the uh, meeting of the House and the Senate in joint session to count electoral college votes is a fraud or is taking away, um, uh, you know, Donald Trump's presidency. You can say whatever you want, but the minute you actually try to obstruct the meeting of Congress, you've crossed over from speech to conduct. It's like, you know, you can say, well, I think the currency is phony and everybody should be allowed to make up their own money, you can say that, but the minute you start printing your own money, now you've run afoul of the counterfeit laws. And it's the exact same thing with the Electoral College. They can say, well, we don't think that Joe Biden really won in these states, even though every federal and state court rejected all of their claims of electoral fraud and corruption. But the minute they start manufacturing counterfeit electors and trying to have them substitute for the real electors that came through the federal and state legal process. At that point, they've crossed over from speech. And that conduct was, according to the indictment, criminal. Raskin noted that Jack Smith kept the latest Trump indictment narrow and did not include a January 6th committee referral about Donald Trump aiding and abetting insurrectionists. And uh, I suppose they did that because it's a statute that has not been uh, prosecuted much before. Donald Trump, you know, everything in his world is a case of first impression, pretty much. But um, they tried to stay away from that because I think they didn't want that debate about freedom of speech, even though I think it's clear that Donald Trump did, did give aid and comfort to the insurrectionists, calling them great patriots and telling them never to forget this day and egging them on in the middle of the insurrection, saying that Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what needed to be done. But in any event, they've stuck with actual conduct, the actus reus, and they have overwhelming documentation of his intent, of his guilty mind. And that intent is bolstered by the number of people around Donald Trump who told him the claims about fraud and a stolen election were nonsense and that Trump had indeed lost. So when Donald Trump took action anyway to come up with fake electors and stop Joe Biden's certification, Trump was intending to break the law and interfere with the transfer of power. For Rudy Giuliani, Trump's big lie ally, the problems are also just beginning. There is still the possibility that Rudy Giuliani goes from unindicted co-conspirator to an indicted one. Clearly, Jack Smith is in Giuliani's head and all Giuliani can do is pound indictment paper. This one will be your legacy, violating the right of free speech of an American citizen. Never mind whether he was president or not. It could be anybody. It could be a homeless person. You don't get to violate people's First Amendment rights, Smith. Homeless. Hmm. That's an interesting Freudian slip. Perhaps Rudy Giuliani knows his next home may be a federal penitentiary when Jack Smith is done with him and Donald Trump. By the way, Trump sycophant Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican from Georgia, thinks that lawmakers in both parties are now trying to trigger her.
They always schedule it to where Dan Goldman is usually speaking after me at some point or, or possibly right before me. Um, and I think that's I think that's part of the plan. They're trying to trigger me, make me angry. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.